is me, and I'm here with Brenda. She's hey. gonna hold the camera, and I'm gonna go ahead and do the painting demo, just cause I can. And I also told everybody that I would be doing a video for you guys, just in case you couldn't make it for whatever reason. Maybe you don't live in South Florida. That's fine, doesn't matter. Hey, you're here with us, and I'm gonna hand over the camera to Brenda, and I'm gonna turn the camera around. Okay, that worked. All right, if anyone knows me, they know I went to Oaxaca, Mexico. And I just got back less than a week ago. So this is the pretty little apron that I'm going to be using in my studio now. All right, if you saw, so this is a painting demo. So if you saw the little postcard that I have for the show, I have, I actually used in that painting, I used, okay, well, I guess I don't have the right outdoor tint, but it doesn't matter. I used tiny little punch outs of paper on it to get that kind of strange texture. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and recreate Jubilee. It doesn't matter if it's perfect or not. And I'm gonna get it started on this canvas and I'm going to paint on this canvas. And I'm just gonna put these circles that I cut out from a German dictionary of all things and just glue them on here with match up. I can't believe I'm wearing high heels in my studio. But believe it, I'm wearing high heels in my studio. Is that a, a new trend? <laughs> uh, maybe. I bet Andy will probably like it. If you're hearing any conversations around, they're all having a good time. Jim and Kathy, Kathy's, there's a second Kathy here. You might hear Andy's voice too. And I'm just applying the matte medium gel to this. Oops. If you can kind of see the table, you could tell that there's paint and stuff on it, because I don't care. The table is allowed to get trashed. My dress, no, but the apron, yes. All right, so I'm gonna hold. So the way I'm going to do this is put these pieces of paper down and they're kind of thin and I'm just going to try and do it random. I'm just going to throw them out. And this is what I did with the Altoid box. I had punch outs from a printer from my day job and I just kind of shook out. Is this it? No, that's something else. I use Altoid boxes a lot. So if you're an Altoid fan, think of me. Oh, that's a bit of newspaper. Get that out. And they're not coming out exactly even. I don't care. I just want something pleasing and then I'll just kind of glue them down. Because the matte medium gel, that's what it does. It acts like a glue. And I'm purposely trying to overlap these. And this is my last piece. So now I'm just going to go over it with some more. I'm lifting that one up so I make sure it sticks and I'm actually going over the edge because the canvas it wraps around the edge so it's automatically framed Ooh, wait a minute I don't want too much Matt Joe how I don't want too much Matt Joe because the last time I did this well when I did it with Jubilee the paper has a different absorption rate than the canvas. Hi, Kathy. It has a different absorption rate than the canvas, which actually has a really cool effect with the paint. You might have to wait to see that effect and the difference. So these two have matte gel. I'll remember that tomorrow for demo. This one has matte gel, these two don't. So I'm just gonna press these on. Oh, here's a double. That's a double scum and have to add some matte gel. And tomorrow when I go ahead and paint on top of this paper and the canvas, you'll see what happens with the paint. And that's what happened in Jubilee, which was the original or the idea I'm copying. So if you got the postcard, you know what Jubilee looks like. And I'm not 
it's impossible to make it perfectly the same. Totally impossible. First off, this one's two feet. This one's two feet by two feet, and the other one's eight inches by eight inches. So we're going from hole punches from a printer to what I cut out from a German dictionary. Uh, that's my friend Isabel that just got here. And her crew. I'm just gonna go ahead and glue these down however they feel, however they fell. Hey Isabel! Thank you. You got company. Hi! We're on Facebook Live! Come on in! Over here, come on in. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, oh, happy birthday. Oh, yeah, Vincenti. Why? I went to Oaxaca for Day of the Dead. Oh, did you? And yes. I was, I was in Tijuana. Day you of the were? Day. Yes, I was. Yeah. Hey, you. How are you, Mama? <laughs> you look great. Thank you. Hello, ladies. Hey. <laughs> Okay, I've got, that's another story I'm going to have to get. Alright, so I'm just going to glue these down. This one's a little big, so I'm going to rip that one a little bit. Put the piece aside. So, if you're watching, and you're from somewhere else in South Florida, hi. Mwah. I did promise that I was going to do this, especially to my, me, myself, and I. Because I'm actually a little shaking over here. Yeah, la guapa, I'm a little shaky. All right, so all these are down. So the only thing left is to let this dry. So this is how it fell, all these little pieces of paper that I cut out from a German dictionary. This is what I'm considering the top of my canvas. This is what I'm considering the bottom. Now, if you remember Jubilee, which I don't have with me right now because it's hanging in my the open studio, it the main idea of the piece has the shapes coming out here, and the background is yellow. The palm tree shapes are blue, and there's some hints of red. And the way that was created was by layering. So this is the first layer, the matte gel, with the paper. And remember, I said at the beginning of the video that the matte gel makes the paint, oop, this one's gonna come off, makes the paint react differently than the paper. The paper does some really cool effects with paint that you just don't get on canvas at all. But I can show that tomorrow. Because this has to dry. This is gonna take at least three or four hours to dry. I'm not gonna abuse you with my hair dryer. This is the only hair dryer in the entire house. I could be here for two hours drying this dog. I mean, that is. I could be here for 15 minutes and you could watch me dry paint. But I'm not going to bore you or me or Brenda like that. <laughs> so this is how it works. Some of it's going to wrinkle. Some of it's going to pull off. Some of it I'm just going to tear off. Because that's just where it needs to go. Like this one. I'm just making sure the edges are down because otherwise these are going to peel up later and then the painting's just going to stop. Not work. Alright. Making sure they're all down. If they get wrinkled, it's part of the texture. The dictionary words are part of the texture. The fact that you cannot read it, but you can kind of read it, is part of it. All right, Brenda, what do you think? I think that's the end of this demo. Yes, it is. We're doing right. good. Now Maybe we'll later I'll do another one. Yes. But in any case, this demo is finished. I'm going to let this dry, and I'm going to go have another glass of wine.